Uh, Greg, uh, Greg, any uh, any extra thoughts around the the trade deadline and how practice went and how the guys uh, responded today? Uh, extra anxiety or anything? No, uh, not that I could tell anyway. I thought energy and practice was in a really good spot. Uh, didn't hear any whispers or talks about trades that have already happened or what ifs. So, no, I don't. I don't think it's an issue for the guys. Oh, great. Always good to get that one out of the way. Tyler Gaudet has uh, played well offensively. We've co you know, talked about it at length, but his defensive play, just speaking to him, he says everything derives from that. How do you see how he creates offense from defense? Well, it's how, how quickly he gets a puck back for our team. Uh, he's always moving his feet away from the puck. Uh, he does a really good job separating guys uh, from the puck and getting through hands. Uh, his reads in the D zone are always really strong. Uh, he's a big part of when he's on the ice with the group of five. Uh, he's a big part of getting the puck back quickly. And in any style of play, uh, the quicker you can get a puck back, the more you can possess it, the quicker you get back on offense. So that's uh, because of his commitment uh, for the team and the defensive side of the puck that he's able to generate. Looking at those three games, the past three games, so when you go back and you look at the video, there's not much that separates uh, the win from the loss there. What did you see that did separate the win from the loss? Uh, I think you can very easily pinpoint it to both nets at, at both sides of the ice. Um, we, we still need to be a stronger, better team at how we position ourselves uh, around our net. Uh, boxing out, protecting our goalie, uh, not allowing them on the inside. Uh, and then for us, like we've had a hard time getting on the inside towards their net. We haven't had a lot of great A chances uh, on the interior, and we, we've got to do a better job of finding ways to gain some momentum on puck first touch in the ozone when we get on the inside and, and find ways to make it more challenging for their goal. Next one goes to Justin Levine. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Greg, thanks for doing this as always. My question for you, uh, A, can you talk about what your team has to do uh, now that Nick Robertson is up with the Leafs and supposedly starting for them? And then with that, uh, you see how your team ended up in a close battle again with Lavelle, as usually is the case the other night. And with two more games, what, is, what do the Marlies have to do collectively in order to tame kids like Caulfield? And not only that, but get themselves into the win column in the final two games. Uh, a lot of what we just spoke on, um, you know, making it tougher uh, for them to get on the inside and get to our goalie, and then for us finding ways to, to get to, to their net. Um, in terms of movement in and out of the lineup, uh, we have a lot of players that are very impactful when they're in. Uh, this is the nature of the American League and how many times uh, there's transactions or the roster looks different from week to week and day to day. So, uh, you know, we continue to prepare as a group, as a team, uh, regardless of what the roster is um, for any given night. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get a plan together. We'll get the reps the guys need this week in practice to make sure that uh, we're finding ways to, to come out with a win this weekend against the strong team. And last one goes to Nick Barden. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Greg, just two questions here. First off, with Nick getting an opportunity with the Leafs and really getting into his first NHL game since January, what does it say about him and really how he's played with the Marlies? It says a lot. Uh, he's worked really hard in his game, um, being very responsible uh, for 200 feet and, uh, and also contributing offensively. So uh, it'll be good for him to, to get that experience and get those reps. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's a person that has come here. He's done everything the right way. He's worked hard. He's made sure that uh, within his process, he's looking to get better uh, in every situation. And uh, you know, hopefully that translates to some success today. And with a guy like Timothy Lilligren, for example, who is two with the Leafs, but he's had a really solid season in the AHL with you guys. Do you think maybe, I'm not going to say that he's maybe grown out of the NH AHL, sorry, but has he really shown how much he's improved this season in terms of playing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, he, he makes the game a lot easier for us when he's in our lineup. Uh, I'm sure there's been challenges uh, you know, coming and going from taxi squad, which all players have had uh, that situation in every organization. Um, and 
you can you can see the maturity and how he's playing and how he's processing the game and then how calm he is with the puck, uh, even from last season. Uh, obviously, there's other people in the organization that have seen uh, his development over a longer period of time, but you can definitely tell uh, that his confidence at this level, even compared to last year, is in a much more mature place. Thank you, Greg. Thank you.